So, if you were me, what would you do? Really? You want to know what little old me would do? Yes. You really want to know what I do? Yes, I do. Can I borrow your jacket? Sure. And your shoes? She puts them on. She stands on top of one of the beds. King looks on in awe as she steadies herself. Church! <laughs> we have gathered here today to deal with a serious issue. It is an issue of great preponderance. You like that? Preponderance. It is a matter of more importance, more serious than my overgrown mustache. Well. How do we deal with the white man? Preach. That the white man is our brother and he should be treated as such. We touch our brother with the softest of hands. We greet our brother with the widest of smiles. We give our brother food when he is hungry. But it is hard to do this when our brother beats his fist upon our flesh. When he greets us with nigger and go back to Africa. When he punches us in our bellies, swelling with hunger. Abel was slain by his brother Cain. And just like the biblical times, the white man is killing his Negro brethren, shackling his hands and keeping us from rising to the stars we were bound to occupy. We have walked our feet sweating with each step. We have been drowned by holding our dreams being washed away. We have been bitten by dogs, our skin forever scarred by hatred at its heights. Our godly crowns have been turned into ashtrays for white men at lunch counters all across the South. To this I say, my brethren, a new day is coming. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And today is the day I tell you to kill the white man, but not with your hands, not with your guns, but with your mind. We are fighting to sit at the same counter, but why, my brothers and sisters? We should build our own counters, our own restaurants, our own neighborhoods, our own schools. The white man ain't got nothing I want. Fuck the white man. Fuck the white man, I say. Fuck him. I am so sorry, Rich Kane. Ooh, I just can't control my mouth. Obviously, neither can I. Well, you asked. That's what I would say, if I was you. And that's what you'd have me say. Why not? Fuck the white man. I likes that. I think that'll be the title of my next sermon.